since the first appearance of Bitcoin in 2009, the word cryptocurrency has grown increasingly common. Since then, additional cryptocurrencies have been produced, and the combined Bitcoin and crypto market value has skyrocketed. It is now valued at approximately 2 trillion euros globally. With PayPal's announcement that it will allow cryptocurrency payments, crypto is becoming more accessible to the general population. Children who've grown up in a digital world are likely to be familiar with the concept of non-physical cash through their participation in online games. Many young people are turning to cryptocurrencies as a means of making money. And a summer camp in the United States for children ages 5 to 17 even provides an introduction to crypto trading. So exactly what is a cryptocurrency? What are the advantages and disadvantages? What should parents be aware of if their child is interested in cryptocurrency mining or investing? So what are cryptocurrencies? A cryptocurrency, often known as a crypto, is a type of data that is used as a medium of trade. Each cryptocurrency, such as Bitcoin or Ethereum, is a real currency, similar to British pounds or U.S. dollars. It's critical not to mix up cryptocurrencies with an in-game virtual currency like Robux in the Roblox game. A virtual currency can only be used to buy stuff in that game. If the seller is willing, you can use cryptocurrency to buy a real residence. The majority of cryptocurrencies have a limited number of tokens. A token is a unit of cryptocurrency. This is what increases the value of cryptocurrency, because the more individuals that invest in them, the less there are. Cryptocurrencies operate based on decentralized control. This means that, unlike traditional currencies, they are not regulated by a bank or the government. In the case of cryptocurrencies, decentralized control is referred to as a blockchain, which is a sequence of blocks of data that serve as a record of all transactions. All of these blocks are interconnected and provide security. If you tried to hack into one block, it would affect them all. More information regarding blockchain technology can be found here. There are numerous cryptocurrencies available now, with only small differences. Ethereum, for example, processes transactions faster than Bitcoin, whereas Cardano is more environmentally friendly. There have also been various joke cryptocurrencies, most notably Dogecoin, which is currently battling to hit $1 due to its practically endless production. Why is crypto so popular? Some people anticipate that cryptocurrency will replace traditional currencies within the next five years. Those involved in cryptocurrency say that it will democratize currency by eliminating the dependency on banks. On the surface, anyone with a computer and a reasonable amount of hardware can mine for cryptocurrency. And with the current value of a single Bitcoin fixed at 34,000 euros, anyone can become extremely wealthy. Cryptocurrency transactions are typically handled in a matter of minutes, as opposed to bank transfers, which can take days. The individuals involved, as well as the specifics of the transaction, remain mostly unknown. What is mining for cryptocurrency? Mining is one of the most common methods of obtaining cryptocurrency tokens. This entails having your computer solve an arduous set of mathematical puzzles required to verify a block in the blockchain, similar to how a card machine verifies a transaction with your ordinary debit card. As your computer solves these challenges, you may receive a token of a certain cryptocurrency, though this likelihood is reducing as more people engage in crypto mining. If all of that sounds complicated, it's because it is. To mine a cryptocurrency, you'll need specialized hardware known as an ASIC, or Application-Specific Integrated Circuit. The more money you spend on this hardware, the more efficient your mining process will be, and the more cryptocurrency tokens you'll be able to generate. If you don't want to mine, Coinbase is the most popular site for buying and selling cryptocurrencies. PayPal just announced that UK users will be able to trade in cryptocurrency though you'll only be able to utilize them within the platform's limitations. The features of cryptocurrency. The Bitcoin concept is of a peer-to-peer -peer electronic currency system that is not controlled by a central authority and hence is fast, inexpensive, and immune to censorship. For example, PayPal prohibiting gun sales and other forms of corruption or control. While the definition is variable, the following characteristics often comprise a crypto asset. Cryptography. 
This is where the term crypto comes from. A cryptocurrency, or crypto for short, employs cryptography, which is a way of safeguarding information or communications. Cryptocurrencies employ a technique known as public key cryptography. In systems that use public key cryptography, there is a public key that can be shared with others. In cryptocurrency, this is the key you share with people so they can send you crypto. There is also a private key which you don't share with anyone. Think of the private key as a password. It protects your crypto holdings and is used to sign transactions that you initiate for others. Transparency. The ethos of crypto is one of transparency. Much of the code these protocols are built on is open source, made freely available for redistribution and modification. Plus, every crypto transaction is time stamped on the blockchain, which creates a public provenance of chronology of ownership or custody of the assets. Incentives. Cryptocurrency protocols are built with game theory components to ensure that all system users act in a way that maintains the system's operation. Bitcoin miners, for example, must employ computer power to verify transaction blocks. To recompense miners for their efforts, newly generated coins are delivered to them automatically when they verify a block of transactions. Miners are so incentivized to continue devoting power to transaction verification. Coins, tokens, and crypto assets. Many terminologies in the crypto world are used interchangeably, which makes the conversation unclear for newbies. However, there are three types of crypto. Crypto assets or digital assets. This is a catch-all phrase for all of the one-of-a-kind assets that have emerged from the blockchain revolution and make use of cryptography. This category includes both cryptocurrency and crypto tokens. Cryptocurrency. These crypto assets, often known as cryptocurrencies, are those that are native to blockchains. Thus, Bitcoin, BTC, is the native cryptocurrency of the Bitcoin blockchain, whereas Ether, ETH, is the native cryptocurrency of the Ethereum blockchain. These coins are used to pay transaction fees as well as to reward miners or individuals that verify transactions. Crypto tokens. These are crypto assets without their blockchain. Crypto tokens operate on a pre-existing blockchain. Although Ethereum is the most popular blockchain for creating tokens, other blockchains can also do so. For example, Beeple's Work NFT, which sold for a stunning $69 million, was constructed on top of the Ethereum blockchain. This category also includes decentralized finance DeFi tokens. How old do you have to be to trade or mine for cryptocurrency? Although established services such as Coinbase and PayPal requires users to be at least 18 years old, there are technically no age limitations for trading or mining cryptocurrencies. Anyone of any age, however, can mine for Bitcoin. There are various methods of obtaining tokens that do not require you to be over the age of 18. Purse.io, for example, has a 13 plus age limit. Purse allows you to convert the value of an Amazon gift card into Bitcoin tokens. The risk of cryptocurrency scams. Cryptocurrency, like any other type of currency, carries financial hazards. Even the most successful cryptocurrencies, like Bitcoin, have unpredictable values and crashes are not rare. There have been reports of cryptocurrency trading addiction, but the greatest concern for young people is the growing number of cryptocurrency scams on the market. The most common type of scam is when someone creates a new cryptocurrency that appears to be legitimate and invites people to invest in it. After they've taken the money, the company will close down, and those who started the scam will walk away with the money. This is, in essence, a pyramid scheme. One example is the corporation Theodex, which allegedly defrauded investors out of $2 billion. Similar frauds involve someone online imitating a celebrity or company and encouraging people to buy what appears to be the next major cryptocurrency, saying that its value will skyrocket. The greater the increase in value, the greater the number of people who invest. Those who started the hoax, on the other hand, will withdraw their tokens at the high, causing the currency's value to plummet and those who invested to lose out. Because cryptocurrencies are unregulated, victims of fraud have little protection. The FCA, Financial Conduct Authority, is working to regulate how cryptocurrencies are advertised. Environmental Cost You might not consider cryptocurrencies to be a particularly harmful sector to the environment. However, maintaining the blockchain demands a significant amount of energy. 
As Bitcoin tokens become scarcer and hence more valuable, more people use high-powered hardware to mine, resulting in higher CO2 emissions. Some cryptocurrencies employ a different type of blockchain that has a lower environmental impact because it does not rely on the same ever-increasing amount of energy from miners. So what should you do? If your child is interested, talk to them about what they like about cryptocurrencies and make sure they understand the risks. While cryptocurrencies are unlikely to replace traditional currencies shortly, they are becoming increasingly popular and simple to trade in. The willingness of some companies to transition to ecologically sustainable blockchains is also highly promising. Many young people are already exhibiting an interest in Bitcoin. Therefore, they must understand that it may be a risky business. For every fortune fairy tale, there are also stories of financial devastation. It's critical to discuss the process of investing in Bitcoin with your child and ensure that they are capable of identifying when anything appears to be a scam. Encourage them to come to you if they believe they've made a mistake. Emphasize that not all financial advice is reliable and that they should carefully investigate where this advice is coming from. You might want to do some research together to identify more reliable sources. If they do become engaged, it may be best to stay with the more established cryptocurrencies, which are less likely to vanish abruptly. If your child is thinking about investing, it's also a good idea to talk about the environmental consequences with them and encourage them to look into cryptocurrencies like Cardano. That's all for today's video. Thank you for watching. I hope all the shared information will be helpful for you all. And if you have any questions or doubts, please leave them in the comments section. I'll try my best to sort out your confusion. Till then, stay tuned and keep supporting. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more informative content.